Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can plot a, a chart showing a range of values from a low to a high. And in today's example I'm going to use data that I got from rover.com on first time dog expenses. So you can see the different types of expenses, the low and the high. So we can see a range, some of these expenses can range significantly from 100 to 700 adoption fees some of them can be fairly narrow from 10 to 30 and we can visualize these using a chart so what I'm going to do is select this data go to insert and I'm going to select a, a stacked bar chart here and the reason being is because when you've got descriptions that are fairly long uh, a bar chart works a bit better than a vertical column chart just because it's a lot easier to see all these descriptions um, side by side without having to you know stretch out the stretch out the chart too much so I'm gonna get rid of the title for now just to make the most of a space that I have and although I used a stack chart here I don't really want to use the stack chart because what I'm gonna do is hide these hide these blue bars here so for example you know, I don't need the minimum values. What I want to do is sort of use that as a starting point. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to make these blank. So look, the, make them look invisible. So now we've got a bit of a range here. So we can see where, you know, initial vet examinations start from around, um, you know, 320 all the way to 480. So we have this gap here because, you know, they, don't, they didn't start at zero. They started at 320. So by using an invisible color for that, for that from value, it's already basically starting at the lowest value, this, this new, um, this new uh, bar chart here. And one thing I'm probably going to want to do is get rid of some of these grid lines because I don't really need to use, have all these lines on here. If I, if I go to format the axis, what I can do is get rid of the line just to have it a lot a lot cleaner and easier to see. Another thing I like to do anytime I'm dealing with bar charts or, or column charts is to shrink these gap widths just to make these make the, these visuals a bit broader, easier to see. And what you can also do is if you don't want to use this this axis here, you can delete this and just add some data labels. And so you'll notice by default the, the data labels align to the center. But if I select them and go to format data labels, you'll have the option to use inside end, which basically pushes them off to the right. And what I can do to make this a, a bit clearer is maybe modify some of these colors and maybe select a light green. And now it stands out um, a little bit better. And what you can also do is, you know, add a border, maybe a dark green, just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, because the scale of some of these, so, some of these, uh, some of these values are going to look a little bit crunch together like this for stain and odor removers you'll notice this value even though it's at the end it's you know almost looking at that it's at the start so what you can do for individual ones is drag this over just so you have a bit of a cleaner effect where it's not um uh, starting at the beginning and you know if i were to change this value to let's say 100 you know it's still going to move with with the chart so that's that's one of the advantages of, you know, initially making changes to the to the charts to make it, you know, look roughly how you how you want it to, and that even even though the the changes may seem a bit manual, your your charts automatically gonna update as you update the data. So anyway, that's a quick overview of of how to how to show ranges using a chart in in Excel and as you can see you can easily modify this to make it make it larger easier to, to stand out but by by using that invisible fill color for the, for the starting values it makes it a lot easier to see 
where some of these ranges start. And obviously, you can include the axis if you prefer, but if you just want it a bit cleaner just to show these, these ranges, you can get rid of it for a, a much cleaner look.